One of the biggest questions here in my channel is when MIUI 12.5 rolls out and China Roam would not support the Google Play services, what should I do? And that question is quite hard to answer since there's still no official announcement from Xiaomi whether they'll be dropping Google Play support on the China Roam. You cannot uh, anymore install it uh, on their China Roam phone. So right now I'll be doing a quick rundown tutorial on how to solve that problem. So you have to be ready whenever that time comes and definitely it will come soon, should it be real. So I have here on my hand the Mi CC9 Pro. It's a China version of the Xiaomi Mi Note 10. And right now we're going to flash this one into the global variant. So you have to be sure what you're doing. I would not be responsible if you break your phone. And of course, there's two variants. You can either flash to global or EU Rome. Now, let's get started. First things first, you need to go to this website, unlock.update.mui.com to go to this page. So unlock now. So you need to download Me Unlock and uh, of course, log in your credentials here. Then after that, you just need to connect your phone to your PC. But before that, we should configure something on our phone. So first things first, we have to unlock the bootloader of this phone. So all we need to do is go to my device, go to all specs, then of course, tap five times on your MIUI version. So one, two, three, four, five, to turn on uh, the developer mode. So right now you're a developer. So going back to the settings, so let's go to the additional settings, drag it down, you'll see the developer option. So right now, mine is already unlocked, but I'll uh, teach you on how to, uh, uh, to unlock it. So this device is already unlocked, but I'll show you some phones that is not yet unlocked and how it looks like. So this is how it looks like. So on my other phone where my Xiaomi phone is still locked, so you need to give it a permission. So this device is locked and the phone is secured. So you need to add account, okay, turn off Wi-Fi and use the data. So all you need to do is just add account, uh, making sure that you have your mobile data on this phone. Then after you have successfully binded, going back, Turn on OEM unlocking. Okay, so just enable. Then we'll uh, go out. And next thing to do is open your Mi Flash Unlock. And I'll be posting the link below on the comment section where did I uh, download this uh, program. So uh, you need to log in your same Xiaomi account that you log in to your phone. So uh, right now, it asks me to uh, connect it to the device. So always use a reliable uh, data cable uh, so that it will unlock it properly. So this one comes with my uh, Mi Note 10. So definitely it's the original one. Just to make sure that I'll be able to unlock this properly. So right now we'll be turning off the phone so power off. Okay, so it has to be completely powered off. So next thing to do is, uh, it told us to volume down and power button. So just hold it until you see the Xiaomi Bunny. There you go. You can see it's on fast boot mode. And right now you can see your, the phone is connected. Then, of course, it will check device status. Uh, okay, so it says that when unlocking, it will erase user data. So, pre pressing unlock here. 
Let's see what happens. Though mine is already unlocked. So unlock anyway. And unlock anyway. So right now, device is unlocked. No need to repeat uh, unlock. So yeah, since mine is already unlocked, there's no need for me to do the same process again. But your uh, yours should expect it to be uh, saying that you have successfully unlocked your phone. Then the next step is to sign out of the Mi Unlock. Next thing to do, of course, is to flash the phone. So you still need to put this on fast boot mode. And let's go inside the uh, Mi Flash tool. So going here, Xiaomi Flash. So right click, run as admin. Okay. So you need to refresh it and see. Uh, the phone that is connected, you can see here the device is connected. Uh, all you need to do here is just to clean all. Okay, if you clean all and lock, then you'll be running into trouble since you have no permission to lock it again. Right now, you need to select the ROM that you have downloaded. Uh, make sure that you put it to the root folders. Make sure you have to put it to the root folder of your drive C. So here's mine. Okay. So. So, okay. So next thing to do is to press the flash button. So once I flashed it, it will uh, give me a global room on my Mi Note 10, aka the CC9 Pro on my uh, China Rome variant. So sit back, relax. It will take roughly three to five minutes to complete the process and your phone will reboot. Uh, just make sure don't power off anything. Don't pull the plugs. You'll be really, really running into trouble and you might even break your phone. So my advice is uh, brew yourself some tea or coffee while in the process and that's all you need to do or watch a quick video on youtube after that you'll be uh seeing your phone in a new room just make sure that you download the room from the official website of xiaomi uh from c.mi.com uh there will be a download section there on the xiaomi community or you can also get it from the uh, EU. Okay, so EU ROM is also a modified uh, global ROM. Okay, more on for the European markets. Uh, it also runs nice, but personally, I haven't really used the EU ROM. I have been using China and global ROM, uh, the official ones, of course. So that's all I have to teach you on this video. So right now, we're still waiting for it to finish uh, flashing my uh, Xiaomi Mi Note 10. And to be honest with you, the Mi Note 10 is the world's, uh, well, not the world's, it's Xiaomi's first ever commercial 108 MP phone and the first one being the Xiaomi Mi Mix Alpha, which never made it to the market, only just for... Uh, which never really made it to the market. Uh, Xiaomi only just uh, made it for uh, exhibits just to brag that, hey, we can make a double-sided uh, display, front and back display, which is really, really nice and really, really something that uh, probably money can't buy you one right now. So we have already hit the... 150 second mark which is roughly two minutes plus so uh, it should be done in a few seconds right now so we're still waiting for it to be done
so we have already hit the 200 second mark I guess just a few more and you can see the bar it's almost towards the end of the bar it's almost complete just need a little bit patience on this one and we'll be really getting this done So I can see the bar is almost uh, full. So we are at the 240 second mark. So we have reached the 300 second mark. So yeah, might take a little more time. So the file is quite large, almost a five gig, uh, almost a five gigabyte worth of file. So yeah, flashing it should really take a little bit of time. So still waiting for it to finish. So right now we're closing in to the 400 second mark. So I hope that it's, this is it, almost done. So yeah, it's taking quite a, quite a while. Really just really need your patience on this one. So, okay, right now we can see that our phone has rebooted on its own, uh, even though that the message that it resulted into an error, but our flashing is complete. So you can see that it's already in English, yours alone, MIUI 12. So you can see all these languages, meaning right now we're running Global Roam. So let's see if it's really Global Roam. So we can set it to the Philippines. Okay, so this screen is probably one of the most welcoming screen that you want to see after flashing from China Roam to Global Roam. It's your Google account login. So yeah, I just want to set this up as a new device. So next thing you'll know, you'll be uh, setting up your Google credentials. So right now it's still checking some information. So yes, uh, since it's already, you can already sign in on your Google, this means you're, you have successfully flashed your phone into the global variant. So skip this one. Uh, I'll, I'll be doing this a little bit later, not now, for demonstration purposes. So you can also log in your Xiaomi Mi account
Okay, so we're ready. So, okay, this is our uh, home screen. So, let's check about phone. So, you can see that our Roam is the MIUI global version. As compared to a while ago, it's the China Roam version. So, let's see the all specs. If it reads, it's already a Mi Note 10. And yes, it's already a Mi Note 10. So this is the Global Stable Edition. So let's just see, we have some updates going on. So yes, there's an update. So I'll be downloading my update and you can do yours as well after update. So one of the precautionary measures that I want to tell you is that uh, you can only flash the same uh, version of Rome or higher. Never flash a lower ROM. It might break your phone so right now if you're running a MIUI version 12.0.3 just make sure that you flash a version 12.0.3 or higher not a 12.0.2 just a word of warning so with that said and done we already achieved flashing global roam into our china roam phone which is the cc9 pro we turn it into the mi note 10 okay so yeah we've successfully do did it and Congratulations, I hope that this tutorial uh, has helped you uh, solve your problem, uh, especially when time comes that China Rome won't be able to support Google Play services. This is your best bet to have Google Play services. Just make sure you know the right thing that you're doing. Uh, I'm not accountable if, you're, uh, if you break your phone. Uh, you can see the full video, this almost uncut. I did every single process that is supposed to be done to flash this phone properly. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, click that bell icon so you don't miss any future tutorials here on my channel. And I hope to see you on my next tutorial. So goodbye for now.